hey guys um so things happened and i thought i wasn't going to be able to make this video why did i think that well i'm currently using my phone so let's go over to my laptop and open my camera and what does it say your camera um it says can't start your camera if you're sure the camera is connected and installed properly which it would have to be because I use the uh, built-in camera. I don't have a webcam that you plug in. Um, if it is connected properly, try checking for updated drivers. How do I do that? I couldn't figure it out. So, I decided to go over to the uh, red laptop. I went back to my old Acer and I was like, let's make a video on this. And the battery, I knew this was a thing, the battery has been bad for a long time now, like over a year. The battery has been like plugged in, 0%, not charging. So I got on my red laptop and I was like, hey, let's make this video. And my red laptop told me, um, recharge me that it couldn't make the video because it was too dead. I didn't know that was a thing. So, basically, this is my last resort. This is my only option left. What am I doing right now? Because you know I don't have the storage for this. I'm using Marco Polo. If I get a sponsor, that would be nice. <laughs> no, I wish I had a sponsor. But, uh, no. But I am using Marco Polo to record this video because it does unlimited recording. The videos are saved on the servers, not my actual phone. So, it's like a cloud storage thing. So I can just record forever. Okay, so today's video, uh, today is Thursday, so it's a free day. Right? Yeah. And so today for our free day, I'm going to review this. I got the Grey Gargoyle Marvel Legends figure a few days ago. Um, I ordered it from Amazon. What happened was kind of funny. Um, so I ordered it, and I tracked the order, and it was delivered by the uh, Postal Service. So bad things happened. It went to Tennessee for some reason, which is another state that's not even the same state I'm in. So I don't know why that happened. But here's the thing. We called, we got it all worked out, they sent another one, and then the one from Tennessee came. So there's this one, and then there's one, that, that right there is the other one. <laughs> so, I don't know, I got two. I'm gonna sell one of them. I'm gonna sell this one, because you can't really see it on the camera. You could if I tried to show you, but there's some problems with the box. It is as I received it. I have been very careful with it. I've kept it in a very secure place, but the box was already messed up because I ordered from Amazon, and because I ordered from Amazon, they sent it in a bag. I mean, they should know to send it in a box. It's collectible. But no, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do that for Marvel Select or Marvel Legends. Um... I can't afford select. <laughs> um, they sent both of them in a bag. I don't think I've ever bought a Marvel Legends toy from Amazon and they've not sent it in a bag. kind of sucks. So that's why I try to buy my figures in a actual physical store. And not online 
because that happens, and then the box will get damaged during shipping, and it's hardly worth it. So, um, the other one has some problems as well, but they're not as bad, so, yeah. So what do I think about this figure? Well, I really like the color scheme and the uh, shading that they used. It's like a um, lighter shade for his skin tone, and then the cape and the mask are a different shade, and what I think is funny is I can see a mustache under there somewhere, and I didn't know he had a mustache. Um, so, of course, I played, you guys know that I played the first Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Well, I've played the first and second, and... I encountered him in the first one, and I didn't know he had a mustache. I guess because there wasn't that much detail to his um, model, you know, it wasn't very uh, detailed. This has a lot of detail, like lines on his gloves and boots. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, his boots are like, they have toes, they're like little points, and I didn't know that was a thing either. Um, for some reason his cape is removable. Like, I've seen people take him out of the box and remove his cape. Like, that's a thing that was made to happen. And I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, I really like how this turned out. And the next one, the next Marvel Legends that I'm going to try to get is the Genis Vell. Um which is part of the same set here. Now let's just look at this set. So what you're trying to build is the Cree Sentry, which has something to do, I'm guessing, with the Captain Marvel movie. If it has nothing to do with the movie, I wouldn't be surprised. Because Cree Sentries, I mean... Why? I don't know. So, let's see who you have to get to complete the set. Captain Marvel, as she was in the movie, wearing her costume, but uh, she's not, she doesn't come with any parts. She's just part of the set. The next one is Nick Fury, wearing a suit and tie, and it's uh, the movie version Nick Fury. He's number one, so he is the right arm um, of the Kree Sentry. The next one is Talos, which looks like a... Not a Kree. What's the other one? There's the one that shapeshifts, and the one with the uh, fin on their head, and usually like a green armored suit. I think Kree is the later one, and the prior is Skrull, so yeah. Talos looks like a Skrull, so I don't know that character, I'm not familiar with that character, but anyways, he is number two, so he is the left leg. Uh, number three is Captain Marvel in civilian clothes, and that one comes with a cat that I think she saves from a tree in the Captain Marvel movie. Uh, number three is the left arm, so, yeah. Uh, number four is Yon Rog, which is the torso. So Yon Rog is a Kree, and I'm not familiar with this character. Number uh, five is Grey Gargoyle, which is the head. Um, number six is Genis Vell which is the left leg, or um, right leg. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so what do I think about that set? Well, there's not really a lot of people in it that I would um, want, so Marvel's doing that again. 
But the things out of this set that I would want are maybe Captain Marvel in civilian clothes, because I know that is still available, and what I'm figuring is it's going to be around forever, and people are not going to buy it. Um, you know what else did that? This guy right here. So this tarantula figure, um, I've already told the story a few times, but uh, if you haven't heard it or you don't remember, um, it's a like 2011 toy, I think. And um, anyways, I was like, yeah, I want to put this in my collection, but I can't afford it right now. So I waited until years after it came out to look back at it because I knew it was still available. Like after all this time, I could still get one online and I found one. <laughs> I found that one for $50 and I got it. I just got it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I might do that with the, um, Captain Marvel in civilian clothes. And the only other one from this set that I would want is the Janice Vell figure, which I think is still in Walmart, but I could be wrong. If it's not, then I don't know. Anyways, I really want to add that one to my collection because I know all about Janice Vell and I really love that character because he's basically the only one who has killed Eternity. That's right, the guardian of the entire multiverse was killed by a Kree. And a bomb. A bomb helped. <laughs> so, after Genis Vell killed um, Eternity, Genis Vell became the new Eternity, and he was. Um, he had to make his own universe that he had just destroyed because you kill eternity you destroy the universe that that eternity was guarding that's just a shadow that's weird um so anyways yeah that is today's video that is the thursday video now here's the thing i missed the last two days that I could have made a video. Um, if you're following my Twitter, then you knew about my excuse for Sunday, but the thing is, I didn't um, get any interaction with that post, so I know that no one either saw that or cared, whichever one it is. Um, anyways, so Sunday and Wednesday, I didn't make a video. Wednesday is my books update. I update you on um, where I'm at with my writing, and I have an update, but that could be an entire video in itself, so I'm going to let it be. Um, my Sunday video, anything fiction, I have some ideas for Build-A-Figure sets. I decided to come up with some, so I got two, and I'm going to read them, and you guys are going to see what you think. So, the reason why I do this is because, take that set for example, I only really want two of the people in it, and that is Grey Gargoyle and Janice Vell, and I already have Grey Gargoyle. And... I kind of want the uh, civilian clothes Captain Marvel, but not really. Like, I wouldn't care if I couldn't get it, but if I can, that'd be great. So, the other people in that set, I didn't want, because I either didn't know them, or I didn't think that much of them. Um, I didn't think that much of the uh, Nick Fury figure, because... 
I don't like what the Marvel Cinematic Universe has done with Nick Fury. I know they did that with him because of the um, Ultimate Universe Nick Fury, but um, there are some sets where I would want everyone that's in the set, and there are some sets where I would not want anyone that's in the set, basically, um, or like one or two. That happens so much. Um, so anyways, here's one of the sets that I came up with, and in this set you would be building Ymir, the King of the Frost Giants. He's also the oldest Frost Giant. Um, so that would take six pieces for the um, legs, the torso, the arms, and the head. That's six pieces, six figures. Some sets add a seventh figure that doesn't have a part in the box, and I'm like, what's the point? Like, in the Grey Gargoyle set, um, Captain Marvel, in her costume, had no part in her box. But she's part of the set. Why is she part of the set? I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't contribute to the set. There's not a part that she uh, has, so I don't know. <laughs> Anyways... The set I've come up with for Ymir is Bellos of the Bold Eye, which is a completely unknown character these days. What he did was kill a bunch of young frost giants, and he used their blood to bring Ymir back to life, back from the dead. And Bellos did this while he was being killed, I think by more frost giants. <laughs> that would make sense. I think that's how it went. Um, anyways, cool story, cool design, even now. It's not, like, really outdated, so he could be a thing. Um, second one I got on this list is Thunderstrike. Which is, I don't know how the community feels about him, but I was into that character. Um, it's one of the other Thor-type characters. I think it was Eric Masterson was the guy that took on the Thor persona there for a little while, and then he became Thunderstrike. Um, but anyways, number three on this list is Thor Odinson because I know there's other people now that have taken on the role of Thor so when you think of Thor you don't think of a exact person if you're into comics so I'm clarifying Thor Odinson number four is Iceman because I know he's had some involvement with Ymir but I'm not too clear on the, um, on what exactly. I know if you use him when you face Ymir in the first Ultimate Alliance that you get some cool dialogue that's unique. Um, number five is Heimdall, which I think is a great character that needs more stuff. Um, Idris Elba did a great portrayal of Heimdall, and I really like that character, but I think his role in the Marvel movies was a little too much on the sidelines. You know, he should have had, like, more of a presence. And the last one, number six, is Thor Jane Foster, because that's, uh, I really love her as Thor. And that was a purely comics thing, so, that needs to be made into a figure, like, ASAP. <laughs> okay, the next set that I have thought of is Nidhogg. 
Now, how would we do this? Nidhogg is a dragon. This is how we would do this. We get four figures, and each one has a part, but we only need four because it's a dragon. And I don't think he had arms and legs and actual wings. I think he just flew through the power of magic. So, Nidhogg is an awesome character. I love the way they decided decided bleh, to design him for the comics. So, I would really like a figure of Nidhogg. Even if we have to build him through one of these sets. So, who would we get to build Nidhogg? We would get King Lothi, the uh, biological father of Loki, then Loki, then Thor Odin's son, and then Malekith. And I think that would be a great set. I even have an idea. Because he's a dragon... Hold on. I'm going to set the phone right here. Because he's a dragon... I think he should be made like this. So this is a dragon toy from the uh, Avatar The Last Airbender live action movie. So I think it was either Burger King or McDonald's that I got this toy from. Anyways, crap movie, absolutely hate it, but at least this was cool. And at the time, I thought the movie wasn't that bad. I know. I went back and watched it when I was a little older. So, anyways, this is a great idea. We could make Nidhogg this way. So let's just remove this part. Remove this part. Some of the body... And there we go. There we go. Snap it back like that. That's what we would have. The four pieces. That would be awesome. If we did this. If we did this to get Nidhogg. That would be awesome. I would definitely buy the figures. I would love these sets. But watch them never be done. <laughs> Just watch. They'll... I'd, promise you they'll never be done but these would be great sets I would buy most of these guys because I don't have a like a classic um, comics Loki I don't even think I have Loki at all I don't um, so <laughs> I would get Loki and when I get Thor would I get Thor? Um, if I don't have him already, I would get him. And I don't have him already. So, um, basically I would get everyone else. Definitely. But if we're doing Thor for both sets, I would only get one. So, that's just me. Like, I have a, um, uh, Batman toy from the, uh, Batman v Superman movie. And because of that, I don't want another Batman toy. I know it's probably going to be, like, the other ones that are in, like, actual collectible things. Well, it's sort of a collectible, because it has the Batman v Superman logo on the box. So you know it's, like, that movie. But, also, he doesn't look like he looked in that movie. He looks classic. So... You guys probably know the figure that I'm talking about. I don't feel like taking it down and showing you. Um, but because I have him, I don't want to get another Batman. So, I wouldn't get two Thors. But everyone else, I would get. So, get on that, Marvel and Hasbro. Get on that. But they won't watch <laughs> just watch they won't <laughs>
So that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you um, like this sort of content I'm putting out. And I've made a mess of my child. Um, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Peace.